Women FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 7-2 uh, defeat to Everton United. Adam, how do you feel after that? Um, yeah, obviously um, disappointing. You know, it's, it's hard. Uh, yeah, don't know how you can sum that up. Really, we've seen seven goals. Um, I think there's a, a few gifts out there. Um, but I think, yeah, we we worked so hard in the last few years to get to come and, and play at venues like this, and um, you know, I think um, we've got so many that we play, and it's expensive, and yeah, we're winning against good teams, they can exploit that. But um, I don't know how, how much was down to them being brilliant tonight, um, and us just, you know, not not quite being there for whatever reason. Um, and yeah, we've got to, got to learn, got to learn quickly. But you know, we can't um, have a result like this. Uh, you know, it's got it's got galvanised us now. Um, you know, still nine games to go, still loads to play for. We've got ourselves in a great position. Um, and like I said, the boys have worked really hard to, to sort of get in this position. So you know, we've we've got to come together. It's it's got to hurt. Um, you know, uh, it, it felt good for ten minutes going one 0 up and. Now we, at least we give the fans something to cheer about for a little spell um, tonight, which we didn't do at home. Um, but you know, it's 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 one where we need to learn. Um, like we're, we're we're a young group, we're not going to hide behind it. Um, it is what it is. We, we are young, and um, you know we've we've got to, we've got to learn very quickly. We speak about the style of football we play, and it's expansive, and it's attacking, and. I think it was admirable that the team went for it right from the start against a team like this. Do you think that had an effect on the result playing like that style of football? Um, maybe, but I think if you just look at the, the first three goals, um, one's a mistake from how we play, which Harrison hasn't done all season, so you know you can't point no finger, that's going to happen, that's how we play and, and stuff like that. Second one's a set piece, um, which the lads gets a free header. Um, and the third one's a shot from like 25 yards where there's no pressure and he just goes in the top corner. And I think like just those moments in the game, innit, it's it's gonna sound really stupid because it was 7-2, but those big moments in the game, like you've got to come in at 2-1. Um, and then Ollie goes through for a 1v1, normally tucks it away for whatever reason, whether he's doubting. So it's 3-1, you've got a good opportunity, you've got a 1v1 just after half time to make it 3-2, and then you don't know what can happen in the game. And then we get done with a 1v1 and before you know it's 4-2. Um, and then, yeah, some of the goals that we conceded is 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 laughable. It really is. Like from throw-ins, throw it to their striker. And, you know, they're, they're a good side, but they don't need any sort of help in hand. And, um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's just that sometimes our inexperience does, does show on nights like tonight. Um, but like I say, it's, not, it's, it's served us so well. Um, you know, I thought Ruben, when he come on, was excellent. Excellent. He had a bit of a wobbly streak, and now he's come back, and he's, you know, he's pretty faultless really for an 18-year-old coming on at left back. So, real, real positive one there. And we just need more players like that, you know, young, but to go and grasp it and, and grasp the opportunity to come and play against good players at a good, good venue. Um, and yeah, I think maybe on the night, too many. Um, let uh, mistakes affect them. You know, it had a real effect on us mentally. We didn't didn't play out at all after you know, Harrison made a mistake, and he's he's going to do it. We've got to be man enough to go. Okay, that's done. Let's get back on the ball and, and keep playing. And I think we went long way too much. Um, but yeah, like I say, now's not the time to um, crucify any player. Um, you know, I've got to take full responsibility. We've come here. We've lost seven two. It's an embarrassing scoreline with such a huge following. Come and support you, and it, it will hurt. It will hurt, and it'll hurt me, it'll hurt the players. And it's like I say, now's the time we've got to galvanise, we've got to learn, and, and make sure that we're turned up Saturday um, with players and everyone in that dressing room um, willing to give their all um, and leave everything out there. And that's what we've got to do now for the last nine games. Uh, and this result tonight, as much as it hurts, needs to be the making of us and we need to galvanise and get together as a group and, and come back stronger.